What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the 5 free tweaks for iOS 13. The first tweak on the list is called Flex for All, which enables the iPad keyboard on all iPhones on iOS 13. So once you install the tweak, it's gonna be enabled automatically and you should notice the keypad that has um, characters above each letter. For example, if I want to tap numbers, I just have to swipe down as you can see. So pretty handy tweak, it's called Flex for All. The second tweak is called Artemis, which allows you to hide elements across all your iOS device. So for example, I have here labels hidden. I have the dark background as well. And we have much more within the Artemis settings right here. First thing you can enable it from here. And then this option is for the home bar for the iPhone that has the, the gestures. And here in the home screen, you can have the options to have the dark background removed, hide in the badge indicator for if you have pages and then hide icon labels and you can also rename applications if you toggle this on you can actually rename any app here to whatever you want here in the lock screen you can hide elements such as a face id for iphone iphone 10 control center grabber hide camera quick action and such and in the status bar you can rename carrier if you have like a iPhone that has uh, the carrier name you can even hide it if you want and you can hide all status bar item to keep a minimal look for it and also to the view in the in the widgets you can hide edit button you can hide the stock and weather sections as well and here in the media control you can actually minimize the the media control to have it many so let me just show you how does it look and place something here as you can see, the, the widgets for the music player is minimized. You can even hide the media control background and you can even hide the timeline and the knob, which are this one right here. So you can keep a minimal look. So all these changes require respring after you enable them. So the tweak is called Artemis and it's completely free. The next tweak is called the Primo folder, which allows you to customize the look of the folders as well as the actions of them. So as you can see here in the folders, I have an app icon as a preview of the folder icon. And if you launch it, you can launch the folder. And if you double tap, automatically you're gonna open the first application inside that folder as you can see. And you have its settings that you can change yourself. You can reverse behaviors. You can like have the single tap open in the first application instead of double tapping. You can adjust the interval of um, double tapping. When you try to open the first application, you can also include a long touch. When you long press on the folder icon, it will open up the first application. You can have the folder as the preview or you can have the icon, the first very icon as the, the main icon of the folder and it needs a uh, respring. I'm going to show you uh, how it looks. Also, you can hide elements such as the folder icons. You can have the folder icon appears as empty also the background of the folders icon and the background view when you open the folder and also the title and some more actions that you can include as well as the animation that you can also eliminate it so let me just show you here display to folder icon so once it's enabled you can just disable it and enable it again to see the change after a respring okay so you can see down the icons or the folders appears as the very first icon inside them so if i tap here you can also see the animation is is not there when you open the folder so one tap to open the folder double tap to open the first application inside it in iOS 13, the volume HUD displays on the left side and it shows like a thick bar first and then it shrinks to a small one when you keep pressing the volume HUD. You can keep the small view on it on iOS 13 with a tweak called only small vol HUD which will display only the small one as you can see instead of that thick bar 
and then keep pressing to show the small one. The last tweak on the list is called Dark Switch, which allows you to change between dark mode and light mode based on the brightness level. So for instance, if I lower the brightness, it will toggle on the dark mode as you can see. And if I increase it, it will turn on the light mode instead of having it like automatically turned on uh, based on time you can have this option right here dark switch and the settings you have an enable switch and you have reverse which gonna be changing or reversing the the brightness level so if it's up it's gonna be turned into dark and vice versa so pretty handy tweak if you want to change based on your brightness level So that's been it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't for new content. Thank you guys for watching, I will catch you in the next one.